motion, E, motion, is meant to be our energy in motion, <clears throat> flowing. One of the, and I'm doing a fuller course on this, the, the full hour, probably need to do several hours on it, it is one of the key components, the key reasons humans have been unplugged from their power. The gods are afraid of being human. Uh, we wonder why there are ET races here visiting us. What do they want? They want our emotions. The energy, the emotion is the most powerful thing in the physical plane. That's why it has been carefully shut off in humans. We have a very small acceptable emotional range right now. Just like in the electromagnetic spectrum, X-ray, ultraviolet, gamma, etc., we can only see the visible light spectrum, which is very, very tiny. We are also expressing very, very, very little of our emotions. So we've been shut down. Our range of awareness, just like from the astral world, seeing the, the other dimensions, gamma, ultraviolet, so forth. Hummingbirds do. The reason, hum if you look at hummingbirds under certain light conditions with certain, I think it's uh, ultraviolet, they, their colors explode even more. Well, they see each other that way. And many animals have much larger range of seeing than we do. So there's other dimensions, other electromagnetic um, frequencies that we don't pick up on. Well, the same with our emotional range. We've shut it down. Recently on HBO, on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, right? Beautiful. Stevie Wonder sings. Go YouTube it. Google it. Stevie Wonder sings, sings The Way You Make Me Feel, the Michael Jackson song. And in the middle of it, uh, uh, he stops and starts crying. Wonderful. happen more and more and more. We've been calling it breaking down. It's actually breaking open these limited frequency places in our emotional body. And the only reason there has been the original fall unplugging of humans from direct source, why we don't remember these other dimensions and frequencies, why there is a veil on earth is part partially because of this unplugging of the emotional body. So we need to reopen these frequencies in us to be able to anchor true spirit and true awakening, you know. And the programming has been carefully, carefully that there's certain emotions you're not, not allowed to share. Uh, the obvious one is women aren't allowed to rage. Women are not allowed to get, the feminine is not allowed to get really fucking pissed, really fucking angry and express real rage at stuff. That's the bitch word instantly, and you know, psycho bitch, right? And men aren't allowed to what? To boohoo, to totally cry, to sob, or to get soft, right? So those are, those are the obvious ones, that men aren't allowed to cry, women aren't allowed to rage. And so that is a stultification, a shutting down of the human spirit. Just like a wolf caught in a, in a trap has to chew off its paw, yet can survive, but it hobbles along. We've chewed off our paws, our emotional pieces of ourselves, so we're hobbling along with ADD, with autism, with, with Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, cancer, all these manifestations, obsessive compulsive disorder, we're, we're manifest, and these are all labels, labels, who cares? They're, they're just emotionally st stunted human beings. So this is happening now, the awakening. And if you look at it, if you can search it and find it, it's all around. On Inside the Actor Studio, uh, Ed Harris, you know, the guy who usually plays tough roles. He played uh, in Apollo 13. And he can be kind of a tough character in a sense, Appaloosa, the, the Western. But in the middle of that, if you Google it, YouTube it, because Google is the world, YouTube is it nowadays, right? So that's where it's at. Watch Ed Harris on the Inside the Actor Studio when he's asked about who he dedicates this film about Jackson Pollock to. 
and watch him nod his head down and his emotions rise up and he starts it wants to come out in big sobs but because of our programming he has to shut it down and he just holds it quiet for a minute she but sure you can does. watch it come to up. To whom is the motion pop. picture Pollock dedicated? No. Uh, to my mom and dad. Why? Just because they're your mom and dad? Yeah. watch it come up. Another tough guy. And the reason I'm using these is because they're in the collective consciousness. Jack Nicholson, tough guy, right? Or party boy, whatever our collective uh, judgment labeling of him is. Watch the American Film Institute of Jack being awarded the American, inducted into the American Film Institute or getting their award. And watch him when he goes up at the end and gives his speech. Watch his heart break open. He starts crying, opens right Ladies up. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Nicholson. Blooming success, work titles, and blah, 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 all this. But, uh, you know, uh, you know, this, you know, after this, is, I'm, I've worked with directors from every, I travel all over the world. I am a hick actor. Uh, this expanded my life. Uh, this, this thing, business teaches you everything. It, um, I love you all. I'm very proud to be here. I love this work. It's dangerous. You give your life to it. And uh, like all novice speech writers, you know, I'm just trying to be funny. The, the truth is, uh, I'm proud of all of my collaborations. The work that's, that this is about has set my life free. Um, confounds me. I'm a romantic. I feel these things matter. These little patterns that we are. The universe. Okay. Um, my work motto is everything counts. My life motto is more good times. So, uh, I guess the only real danger here is after this, I'll fall in love with myself. Uh, so, uh, it's beautiful. This is going to happen more and more. And this is a very tentative area. Um, I grew up inside scientism. Scientism, the military, sort of the ultimate shutdown of the emotions and becoming robotic. We do not feel things. We only exist in this spectrum. We do our work. We are like automatic clone beings. And this is a very scary place that does happen, is happening, and creates a terrible future timeline for human spirits. And which is, by the way, why the E.T. Zeta Reticuli are back here trying to regain their emotions. Spirit showed me this 15 years ago. All this is being revealed now. One of the most powerful things you can do on the planet is to get real with your emotions, real healed, not macho about it, not wimpy about it, but there's a balanced way, the way the true Jesus Christ was with it. He was a man, but he had his heart open. There's some true models for it, you know. Uh, currently, we're not quite year, there yet. Our teachers still, like Gandhi, you know, pussified, let's be honest, you know, it's a pussified spirituality. I know I'm using some terms to trigger us here, right? Or a wimpy spirituality, or even, God bless him, I love Eckhart. Eckhart is unbelievable wisdom, perfect, absolutely real. But because he's got such a large collective role, we're not quite ready for Eckhart to be riding a, a Harley and going out partying with women and having a good time. We can't handle that. We cannot allow in collectively spirituality yet, that there can be a 
raucous life, lust for life. Thank you, Iggy Pop, right? Lust for life. Spiritual teacher. We can't allow that yet. We still have them neutered. Our spiritual teachers are still neutered.